रूपकुंड अनसॉल्व्ड मिस्ट्री ऑफ द स्केल्टन लेक रूपकुंड लेक इज लोकेटेड एट 5029 मीटर्स अबव सी लेवल एट द बॉटम ऑफ त्रिशूल माउंटेन इन द उत्तराखंड स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया द लेक इज अबाउट 40 मीटर्स इन डायमीटर एंड 3 मीटर्स इन डेप्थ द लेक विल रिमेन फ्रोजन फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द ईयर एंड द एरिया अराउंड द लेक इज अनइनहैबिटेड व्हेन द आइस मेल्ट्स we can see the crystal clear water for almost a month in 1942 ananda devi game reserve ranger who was working under the british discovered hundreds of skeletons beneath the crystal clear water of rupkund lake as the ranger reported to the authorities they were perplexed by the findings After initial inspection the authorities found that there are probably 500 to 800 skeletons in the lake the bones were scattered all over the area and some of them still had hairs and some soft tissues attached this was the middle of world war 2 so the british authorities thought that the skeletons were casualties of an invading japanese force there were speculations that japan is going to invade india through the himalayas so no wonder the british thought that way but on closer examinations and radiocarbon dating it was identified that the skeletons were at least 500 years old but due to extreme cold temperature the skeletons looked relatively fresh and some had soft tissues and hair intact anthropological survey of india in the 1950s revealed that some of the skeletons have fractures on the skull which caused their death but they couldn't identify the victims and there were lots of theories floating around One theory suggested a mass suicide while another told about the casualties of an ancient unrecorded battle. Some suggested that the lake is a mass grave of some forgotten epidemic. But for almost 50 years no one could provide any evidence to validate these theories. In early 2000s Scientists from National Geographic Channel conducted studies on the skeletons. Their research revealed that the victims were of South Asian ancestry. It also ruled out some former theories of an ancient battle and the epidemic. A local folklore about King Jasthaval of Kannauj tells about the rage of goddess Nanda Devi who wiped out his entire party on a pilgrimage by a terrible hailstorm based on the investigations done national geographic team concurred with the hailstorm mentioned in the folklore and concluded their studies thus the 60 year old mystery surrounding the skeletons in the lake is finally solved so as everyone thought In 2019 a new study was conducted by 16 research institutions across the world at Rupkund Lake Nature Communications published the baffling results of the studies The research team had studied the samples using a series of bioarchaeological analysis They found that the skeletons belong to three genetically distinct groups. Also these were deposited during multiple events separated in time by approximately 1000 years. The ancestry of the victims vary between South Asian, Greek and East Asian. 
These findings refute the previous suggestion that the skeletons were of pilgrims who died in a single event. The research team concluded that mass death during a pilgrimage by hailstorm is relatively possible for at least some of the individuals. But it is unbelievable that a hailstorm killed all these people in different period of time, separated by centuries. It would be very unlikely for someone from Greece to follow Hindu traditions and go on a pilgrimage in the Himalayas. Lots of theories are in the air about what might have happened, but none of them fit the results and evidence of the research conducted. This situation is unlikely to change until further research is carried out. Till then, the real reason behind the death of up to 800 people in a remote part of the Himalayas will remain a mystery.